Hey everyone, my name is Jess and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been so long and it's funny because the last time I filmed was actually in November of last year and things just got so crazy and hectic. I was just working like crazy after the holidays and I am actually seven months pregnant so a lot of things have been happening. I've been sick for nearly three months after I found out that I was pregnant and now uh, things are just slowly coming back to me. I'm not going to come back to YouTube like, oh, I'm back officially and posting consistently. I'm just going to post videos when I have the opportunity to and I hope you guys understand. I'm going to have another child and it's a boy again and I'm so excited to share that with you guys later after I give birth in January so we'll see how that's like but I'm just so grateful to be back and finally make some more content for you guys I actually want to create another series where I help other parents like you who may be watching and I just want to share my knowledge and information of what I learned from my experience of being a parent at a young age. I've had prior experience to babysitting my nephews and nieces. I have 12 in total. We are a big family and it's eight siblings including myself. So they have their own children and growing up they would just use me as their babysitter because they knew that I would just take care of their kids and we aren't too far apart. It's kind of weird because we're more like cousins because I'm still young and I became an aunt when I was like five years old so it's really funny so we're basically each other's playmates and we still get along till now and I'm just thankful for that experience because it gives me an idea of how it's like to be a parent and it's definitely not easy but I'm really thankful that I had that experience to know what it's like to be a parent and now that I have my own kids, I just apply what I've learned. So the disclaimer is that I am not an expert. I promise you that. This is just my own opinion and my own style based on my experience. And I just want to help other parents out there who are in need of that. And that I am here for you guys if you need that type of support. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. This video is about how to make a baby registry. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically a list of things that you need before your baby arrives. And you basically make a list. It's online and there are different websites that you can use for this. I'm going to do my best to make this video in a reasonable duration. I want to make it easier for you guys because it is hectic if you don't know. Uh, what you're doing especially if this is your first child congratulations and i just want to make it less hectic for you guys and very straightforward so let's get started a baby registry is basically a list that you could provide your guest if you're having a baby shower if not you could just give to your family and friends where they buy gifts for example let's say that you have your friend shopping for you and they get you a bassinet but then you already have a bassinet and they didn't know that you had one already because they wanted to surprise you so the baby registry is a great tool to use because it prevents other guests bringing in the same type of gifts that way you only have one specific gift it tells the guests while they're shopping on the registry which items have already been purchased on your list and it just makes it easier for your guests to shop. We're going to get started on the different types of registries. So I'm going to start off with Walmart because there's not really a lot of features when it comes to signing up. So basically they don't have any exclusive offers and it's basically a simple and very straightforward registry. You just create it and share. You just basically go to the website and add on to your list and that's pretty much it. So if you just want a one and done thing, I would suggest to just sign up with Walmart registry as there's nothing really crazy going on there. The second registry is Target Registry. I love this registry because it provides a free welcome kit of $150 value of coupons and samples for you and your baby. And that's still great because let's say this is your first child and you have absolutely no idea 
like you feel so overwhelmed with all these different types of brands. Well, this is a great opportunity for you to get your welcome kit and basically after you make your registry, they provide you a scan code that you could take up to guest services and someone will scan that scan code for you and give you your welcome kit. And again, that's a $150 value. So you're gonna get a variety of coupons and samples by different brands. I haven't tried it myself. I wish I knew about this when I had my first child, but I'm really excited to get mine. And if you want, I can actually do a video on what, like the kind of stuff that I got and show you what I get in my welcome kit. Just let me know down below in the comments. Next, you get a 15% off coupon to purchase stuff left on your baby list but this is only for a legible item so for example I kind of read the details and this coupon also doesn't qualify for Honest the Honest Company by Jessica Alba so if you're going to use this coupon and please use it before the expiration date make sure that you have an illegible item and just make sure you read like the terms and conditions for using that. If you still don't know which item qualifies, you just ask a team member at Target to assist you. Another great thing about the Target registry is that they have something called Target Circle where you can get access to exclusive deals. So let's say you installed the app on your phone and it just notifies you when there's like a special sale going on and like specific departments. Looking at my experience with Target Circle, I always see something that's on sale for babies, which is really great. You could save 25% off on like an item. I'm just giving you guys an example. So definitely take advantage of that because Target, despite the fact that they're really great quality in my opinion, they are pretty expensive. Every penny counts, so please save your money. The next thing is that they do free returns and exchanges for anything in your registry up to one year. And the last thing is that they have an option for universal registry. So basically you can link your other registries on there so that way if you just want to use Target but then you have other like external websites that you signed up for for a different registry you could just keep it all in the Target registry and link the other registries together. Next is Amazon registry. You get a 10% off discount for non-prime members and 50% off discount for prime members. Once you complete I believe it's 60% of your checklist from your baby registry that's when you receive the 15% off discount but then they have a certain date when you can use that so uh, just look out for that and in order to use this discount it'll just say eligible for the completion discount once you add it to your list you'll be able to notice it I'm going to do my best to attach a little screenshot on the screen here so that you can see the rules of how to use this completion discount. But basically it says your discount begins in 60 days prior to the arrival date you entered in your baby registry and expires 60 days after the arrival date. And your registry must be active for at least 14 days to be eligible for the discount. You also get freebies on this registry. You get a free welcome box as long as you join Prime and then you complete 60% of your checklist and purchase $10 from your registry. So that's how you qualify to get that free welcome box. You must be a Prime member. So if you're not, I honestly encourage you to do that just because it's great if you're Prime member things get to you a lot faster and they're, they have better deals compared to if you're just a regular Amazon shopper. Another great thing about the Amazon registry is that they have idea lists which is uh, ideas for your guests on what to give you for your baby shower or just like as a present. You're not alone when it comes to making an Amazon registry. They also offer baby registry help where you can speak to a registry specialist. Next is that they have a baby registry sweepstakes doing a Huggies giveaway. So definitely check that out. So I used to love this registry. There was just one thing that bothered me, which was the address. When someone shops on my registry, I don't want them to have to contact me 
for my address because that's kind of a little bit inconvenient. I don't really want anyone knowing my address unless if we're like really close. That was the only con for this website. In the center of the taskbar, you're going to see a plus sign that says add items. You just want to click on that and it'll show you all the different stores where you can browse and add items to your registry. When you sign up, it's going to ask you some questions like when is your due date, if you're having a baby shower, but I believe this free welcome kit is only for those who are having having a baby shower. I'm not sure why. I could be wrong. I just don't see the option anymore. You must also make a $10 purchase from your registry on Babylist. And like I said, they do have their own shop. My most favorite universal registry would have to be MyRegistry.com just because it's so efficient to use it's very organized easy to access and like baby list you can add from different websites and they also have deal promotions and they even have a guest book where your guests that shop on the registry could leave a message and even a video for your baby so it's kind of like you're having a virtual baby shower and they're signing your guest book but it's just online which is something i love and there's also gift ideas that they provide for your guests if they feel like overwhelmed and they want to do more and they want to do something special for you i really love that and they also have articles and i believe i forgot to mention that for baby list too they do have some articles about different topics that uh, parents could be curious about. They, they talk about different types of formulas or different kinds of crib brands that are good for your baby and they're really interesting to read. So that's what I love about Babyless and my registry. So for Amazon Baby Registry, Target, and Walmart, your address is confidential. That's all I have to say about these registries. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you have any questions, just please leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. These are just the websites that I've tried for baby registries. There are a lot more out there, but these are the ones that I am currently using. Okay, thank you for being patient. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click that notification bell to get notified whenever I post. And don't forget to subscribe.